Hi hey guys, just a, a quick video. I've had the the Nikon Key Mission 360 for a couple of days now, and I've been doing a bit of shooting with it to um, see uh, how this camera is and how easy it's to use. And and yeah, there's, there's, there's some bits that I really like and some bits that aren't so great. Um, yeah, the quality of the actual footage and stuff seems to be pretty, pretty good. And um, you know, it's fairly straightforward to use for simple modes. It's a bit tricky kind of pairing it um, to use with the app and all that kind of stuff. And I'll probably do a video on, on, on all that and, and how you get that going in case anyone's struggling uh, with the Wi-Fi connection to um, the camera. Uh, the Wi-Fi password for all the cameras is uh, Nikon Key Mission. Uh, with no spaces in between, it's something that uh, they don't put in their manual, weirdly, but you have to know to be able to use the app. Um, anyway, I wanted to do a quick video on the desktop app, so um, sometimes you want to download uh, the um, the videos and do some uh, more in-depth kind of uh, editing with them on, on the desktop, you can do cool things like um, Tiny planet and, um, and kind of movements and panning and those kind of things um, on desktop much easier than, than you can on your phone. On your phone, you can still do it with uh, apps like Roll World and things, but um, yeah, it's just not as easy as on desktop in theory. Anyway, so the the software you get uh, from Nikon, this is version one of their software. Uh, so um, the, they call it a Key Mission 360 170 Utility. Um, app very uh, very great name for it. Uh, this is next to useless. In fact, um, until they update the the software, I'm not going to bother to use it. Uh, just to quickly show you how it works. Uh, you you know, download your video onto it. Um, the edit just basically allows you to trim thing and set um, allows you to um, control the different settings on the camera. Um, but yeah, so how, how do you edit it um, to be able to change the, the focus area and stuff? Um, this is how you do it. It seems, seems crazy to me, but um, you have to press play. Um, so play down the bottom here and then jump over, press start to start the recording and then do your movements either with the mouse or with the um, this thing here uh, and then jump over and press stop. Um, so it's it's pretty kind of fiddly, uh, very fiddly, and and the actual output at the end is 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 useless. So and also you can't control the volume, so you won't be able to hear me for a, a few seconds while I demo this. But so so I missed that slot. Number six. Number seven. <laughs> so yeah, that's how, how you record a video and I'm not gonna bother to do that. Um, but then you say that um so that's your editing of um, yeah, of where it's pointed and stuff. You can't do um cool things like tiny planet and stuff. Um, this is purely a three sixty editor, uh, not a flat editor. And uh, the quality of the video, here's an example of the quality of the video that comes out. Really juttery and horrid. Um, yeah, it's literally pointless. So I, just, I try to get as smooth as possible and look at this. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, don't bother to use it until they update. I'll take this video down once, uh, once they improve that. So there are other options. Um, so the other option um, that I like that's free and very easy to use yeah, it doesn't have a main amount of functionality, but it's a good amount of functionality. Um, is the Insta uh, 360 Studio. And this works for um, the Insta cameras, but also uh, yeah, most uh, other 360s. However, at the moment, there is a problem with it working with um, the, the Nikon uh, 360. And I don't know if this is a camera, like firmware issue, or um, or it's a software um, issue. Obviously, Insta don't care whether it works with uh, Nikon because they want to sell their own cameras. Um, 
but it is kind of weird. So this is a, a standard uh, video um, shot as in, in standard mode on the camera and um, you don't have access to any of the recorder or editing functions, uh, which is really, really weird. Um, so literally the only, only thing you do is play um, the thing and, um, and some of you also want to have it in side by side language. Um, it's needed for this camera because it's got um, it's got auto stitching anyway. Um, so yeah, that's all you can do. However, on a standard video, however, if you film um, a time lapse um, on uh, the Nikon, which is just a setting in it, and it's it's a pretty cool setting, a um, few different options. Um, for the time lapses and hopefully more in the future. Um, weirdly, although the file formats the same and looking at the details of the, the files that look identical, um, it gives you the, the proper functionality of um, of the software over, over Insta Studio, um, which is great because uh, one, it makes all your proper views and stuff. You can also go into into recorder which is um, great in insta um so set a key keyframe here and we'll go maybe up here this cloud maybe uh, dial it back a bit uh, yeah like that have another keyframe and then let's go like to the end and put a um, Oh, actually, keyframe. Sorry, there we go. Um, and then tiny planet here, and then you can yeah do all of the the cool the cool stuff that Insta um, Studio is really good at. And yeah, weirdly, uh, it only seems to work. You know, I've tried it with many different uh, files now, and um, yeah, it always works with the uh, um, the time lapse, but it never works with any of the other video options on, on the camera. And yeah, hopefully that will get fixed, um, or someone will come out with some software which is better than Insta360 Studio. Hopefully, Nikon, you know, they had enough time to, to get this right because their camera was delayed so much. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll enable you to, you know, look at nice edits like this as well as. And the straight 360 videos that you should put on YouTube. Uh, anyway, so it's just uh, yeah, just some early findings from it, and um, as I said, cameras only been out two days, so uh, I would imagine they're working on an update. Um, and and this uh, kind of editing will be much easier in the future. I use I do well. I plan to do a lot of uh, time lapse with it, so uh, that's good that uh, it works with uh, Insta Studio. Um, However, it would be better if the standard videos did as well, rather than yeah, just not not having uh, having that option. It's yeah, it's unfortunate. Anyway, so I'm going to post a few more uh, videos over the next few days, um, just on how I'm finding finding this and uh, and also how you can do some of this editing on your phone as well. And um, yeah, press subscribe and all that kind of stuff if you want to uh, keep up to date with with this. Thanks.